Hello, good morning, happy Sunday, my lovely friends in Cambodia, in Europe especially, and in America too, and all over the world, and particularly to my two or three little jealous haters in Siem Reap. Love you all. Anyway, here we are, look. We're, on, we're going up to Kulin Mountain. We just passed through the, the gate here. Yeah. It's important to know that you can buy the ticket in Siem Reap at the Anchor City Hotel, I think it's called, for $15 if a Cambodian person buys it for you. If you buy it yourself, it's $20. So say five, I think here it costs even more. Anyway, this is how it works. It's taken us uh, an hour to get here from Siem Reap. Now comes the interesting part going up to the mountain. It's a beautiful, beautiful winding road, which we're going to film for you to see. And I'll do a voiceover on that for this video. There's lots of people here. You've got little stalls there. You can buy some snacks and things like that. Water, toilets and so on. Everybody here is very friendly and happy. And we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, here we go. It's starting to race up the steep windy hill up to Kulin Mountain. It's very, very tricky. Right now we're on the asphalt, which is okay. But then soon, we're gonna hit the gravel and the mud and the sand. And it's beautiful going up here, by the way. There's beautiful rock formations cut out of the road. And the trees, the nature and the greenery and it's, it's just fantastic. It's just, a, just, the, just the drive alone is, is so inspiring. It just makes you want to get there. Well, see, I, actually, driving up there is just as much fun as being on the top of the mountain, which we'll get to quite soon. So now we're on the gravel and the mud. It gets quite tricky. The rainy season is just, just about finished. It's still kind of um, damp, damp and wet. And Cambodian kids are always so nice. They always wave and smile and say hello to the foreigners. Yeah, so you see you've got, you've got ruts, you've got little potholes. You've got to be very, very careful. I remember driving about 20, 30 kilometers here. Not very fast, but far, probably too fast. So it gets up and up and up, but it gets the further you go, the more tricky it gets. It's pretty interesting. You really got to go here, folks. So you got to go left, you got to go right, you got to go in the middle to avoid the, the ruts, the holes, the the uh, wet parts. So I'm far on the left now. I slow down, I see a hole coming up on the right there, and now over to the middle. And carry on. And then we've got another nice rock formation. Beautiful, beautiful. It's fantastic, isn't that Isn't that amazing? It's so cool. to the left of other mountains and the countryside over there which is just gorgeous big rocky mountain cliffs and, and, and jungle and so on so I want to go and hike over there but I have to find a local guide because it could be a bit tricky because there may still be some landmines from the Khmer Rouge atrocities committed back then because the Khmer Rouge were hiding out in this area towards the end of the genocide war that they created so before they were they were put to an end yeah so Pol Pot was finally um, arrested in his house in Batabong which is like one hour's drive from Sim Reap where he was not allowed to leave but he, he died there so, and that's why the, the, most of the uh, the leftover Khmer Rouge extremists kind of like uh, hit themselves away in the between Siem Reap and Badabong for a couple of years until they, they, they were either killed or, or they had to go away. Anyway, here we arrive. Okay, you can stop.
right, folks. So we've arrived at the top of Kulin Mountain at the waterfall. Well, it actually goes up further to the temples. I think there's seven or well, there's a place with seven temples. There's about 20 or 30 or even 40 temples up in Kulin Mountain because it used to be the capital of Cambodia, believe it or not. Here's a beautiful restaurant. Okay, this is where we probably will go and have some food. What have they got? chicken roasted with honey well that doesn't sound too bad for 50 ooh, 15 dollars that's expensive that's the problem it's a bit of a tourist trap okay let's go and have a look lady i don't know can you tell her we don't we don't need her right now we want to just look around we're not going you know like before i eat over here this place Gonna have a look. Whoa! That place is that place is quite nice, but it's good. Ah, okay. So this first I want to make a quick video over here. Wanna make see so this is what it looks like. A couple of restaurants, with lots of wooden huts where the Cambodian people hang out and come with their family and have lunch. And there uh, you've got the beautiful spring water, the Kulin Mountain. It comes out from the top of the mountain and then further down. So you can swim here, right? It's only at like knee or waist deep. And further down there is the waterfall, which I'll get to soon. Just want to show you this now because it's very, very beautiful. Amazing. Look at this. Hello. How are you? Lovely people in Cambodia. Always so friendly. Look. Isn't this beautiful? Hello. See, so the water comes from up here. Beautiful stream, trickles down, kids can play in it. Swimming it over there, which I'll be doing later. Then down there it's nice and calm just before it drops off. Hello! <laughs> Alright, that's it. More. Right, our food has arrived. Chicken and what the hell is that? Honey bee. Honey? Yeah. Why, why do we get so much honey? Wow. It's yummy. Honey is actually very, very healthy. This is a beautiful grilled chicken, fresh, with uh, salt and pepper and super spicy sauce and lime, coconut, and rice over there for the lady, not for me. That's right. Okay. So. Enjoy this wonderful chicken, grilled chicken here up in Kulen Mountain. Plum Kulen, they call it in Cambodia. All right. All righty. Walking down the Kulen Mountain towards the waterfall. Unfortunately, my, my microphone is broken, so I have to shout so you can hear me. I get a new one over the weekend, I promise, or on Monday, but for now it's going to have to do. It's going to be a bit loud because of the water, but I want you to see this beautiful waterfall. Okay, beautiful waterfall here. And there we are. Slippery when wet, so don't... That's funny, huh? Over, oops, walk over there, go across there, walk over there, and up there, there's a temple. Hello! Hello, family! Hi! Alright, let's go over here. See what we can find here. Beautiful, look at that. So, I have to shout because the microphone is broken on my thing. As you can see, that's where I am now in Kulen Mountain. Kulen, they call it. 
absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And all the way down to the drop off point. Yeehaw! Into the jungle. And now we're going to go down to the bottom end. All right. People coming up. Now we've got a the home stretch down to the bottom of the waterfall where you can swim again. Hello guys. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. And you? I'm fantastic because I'm in Cambodia. Yeah, Cambodia. Love Cambodia. Thank you very much. <laughs> of course, where are you guys from? India. India. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're from? UK, London. Oh, London. Oh. Yeah. So where are you from in India? Mumbai? Nasik. That's it, okay. That's like the wine capital of India. Wine capital? Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know. Of the world now. Of the world now. Wine capital? Yeah. And they make good wine? Yeah. Really? Sula, they are three, four vineyards. Yeah, white, 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 white vineyards. One white, white wine, red wine? Everything. And it's good? Like European yeah. wine? Like At part. Really? Well, I never know. I, never, I was in India many, many times before. Oh. Maybe 10, 15 years ago. 10, 15 years ago? Now? Yeah. Wow. yeah. Now they're changing. Okay, great. Good, Good stuff. Nice Good to meet you. you. Bye bye. Yeah. All right. I didn't know that. Apparently, they're making wine in India now. 150 vineyards. Cool. All right. Now, I've got to be careful going down here because, as you can see, very steep steps. And if you slip and slide on these motherfuckers, you're kind of done for. Meaning, you're either breaking wrist, your hand. Your ankle or your leg. And we don't want that. Beautiful, beautiful jungle. Anyway, back to the steps we go. Just to show you. In case you haven't been to Kulen Mountain and the waterfall, I mean, there's tons to it. There's hundreds of temples, apparently. Um, lots of, lots. there's like a river, I mean, a secret lake or something, which I have not found yet. Maybe next time, I'm not sure. You've got to watch your step going down here. It's really tricky, it's steep as hell. But we're getting there. Hello. 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 You see how nice Cambodian people are? Everybody says hello all the time. Everybody's smiling. Beautiful people, beautiful hearts. Genuine, honest people, nice people. Really cool people. The Khmer people are the best people in the world. All right. So we're getting slowly getting to the bottom. So this is, you know, this is this video is about Cambodia and Kulin Mountain at this point, but it's also got to do with being in in nature and taking the time to get to nature, going out and doing activities such as this. Exploring nature, going to nature, walking around, just being in nature. So there is the amazing waterfall. So if you, you can see behind me, there, if you put your swim over here, Stay five, over there, chill on the rocks. Over there to the lookout point. Well, the best you do is to hang around to the ship. Over there too, we're going to get some footage of that. Well, all right, let's go. Hello. All right, now we're up close. I have to shout so you can hear me because my microphone is broken. But look, we've got people Chilling in the water, the rocks, kids, having fun. Beautiful, ancient, millions of years old trees. And look how big and powerful this waterfall is. And everyone's loving it. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic place. Gotta come here. Gotta come here, guys. Absolutely worth it. Beautiful. Now we have the small problem of going back up. Now you can see how steep it is. 
this reverse angle of going back up shows a totally different picture of how steep it really is. But I love steps, no problem for me. All good. How are you? Great place to be. Here we are. and your blood flows, blood stream uh, flow faster and makes you happy and healthy. It's called water treatment and forest therapy. Okay, water therapy, forest therapy. That's what we do to stay healthy. That's right. Welcome Cambodia, all the best. See you later. The headstand. Slowly up and try it right up. Very important to get balance in the core. Stretch up. And then you find the sweet spot by tightening the core. And it's easy. There's no effort. I just use my elbows, my shoulders, my neck, and my core to hold the body. And I can do all kinds of movements that help the core muscles in the back. Such as the bicycle. Ah, damn. Thanks for watching Rob's Health Crunch. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. There is more great content on the way from me about Cambodia, health, fitness, wellness, real healthy food, and great lifestyle habits. Don't forget to enable notifications so you'll know when the latest video is posted. Until then, here's some other great content that I think you will enjoy.